So I've ordered my Curacao Brigade to deploy behind this low ridge here. This ridge is quite useful because it's um, a nice protection for my troops as they come up the defile here. But I'm going to keep these Curacaos just behind the ridge here while I wait for the artillery and the infantry to catch up. The Dragoons are coming across the top of the hill and uh, will deploy just here in support of the Curacaos. They're a bit exposed on the top of the hill but I don't want the Austrians to actually get up here if I can avoid it. Can't see that Hazar regiment anymore. Don't know where they went. I'll try not to use the mini map too much because it, um, it's not really uh, realistic to use it too much. Right, with the uh, cursors now in position. Uh, fresh and um, lengths are secure. I'm now going to concentrate on getting these artillery forward um, and I want to deploy them deploy them on the top of that ridge um, to see if I can do some damage as the Austrians part. So I've ordered them to gallop forward as you can see they're already um, Losing unit cohesion under my new terminology. Probably ordered them to uh, run a little bit too early, but hopefully they have time to reorganise themselves once they're in position. The dragoons are in position now and I can see the other regiment of dragoons just coming up on the far right there. Looks like the Austrians are moving a brigade of infantry round the left of that hill and they've got some artillery in support. And there's some cavalry over on the left there, but they're tired, disorganised. Right, I'm in for the artillery. Quite a nice artillery position, this. The cavalry is on the move. I thought for a minute they were going to rush my artillery battery, but it doesn't look like it. If they tried to do that, I would have had to counter attack with my cursors here. Brigade of um, their heavy cavalry moving across to their left. They're pretty disorganised. Not really um, in a state to do anything serious. It looks like their infantry brigade is uh, making a more serious advance across this open ground here. Right. 
Looks like I'm going to get the first shot in. That's it. Battle has been joined. Earlier on, when we were watching the Prussian advance, the Austrians, over on the other side of the map, <coughs> detached a regiment of their hussars. We formed a pretty thorough reconnaissance of the area at the head of this defile. Um, they initially had a good look at this wood over here. And then presumably having established that uh, either it was too dangerous to go in or that there was nothing there worth looking at, they then headed over towards the head of this defile look down there. So it would appear that the Austrians had some plan for this area of the battlefield. Even that uh, even that early in the game. They're probably just checking the progress of, of uh, the Prussian advance. You can see, see the uh, my cursor just moving down the valley there. Anyway, they just conducted a sort of a, a, a scouting patrol along the top here and then disappeared off in this direction. But here is that um, Austrian brigade moving round the left of that small hill and the artillery that's supporting it. Though these are the two battalions which we have already seen and fired upon, in fact, coming across this open ground. Now here we are a bit later on, as you can see the Austrians have now deployed an artillery battery here and are moving their infantry forward. I think the real risk posed by this brigade is that it's being advanced in very good order and if it continues to advance in that good order my cavalry aren't going to be able to touch it. If in doing so the Austrians manage to form a line of infantry right at the foot of this slope, then any attempt by my infantry to get across and deploy is going to be hampered by close range musketry. So I'm watching this Austrian advance with some trepidation because it does pose a real threat. At least I was watching it with some trepidation until the AI did this, which is really, really stupid. At the very point where they had a chance to make a real impact, they've ordered their infantry not only to run, but wheel to the left. I'm not quite sure what they're trying to achieve, but they've completely lost all order and they're now in a disorganised state so as far as I'm concerned this is the perfect opportunity to send in my cursors. They've got their flank exposed and they're completely confused and in a chaotic state. So Von Bovenbox cursors have been ordered forward as soon as the cuirassiers reach the top of this slope, the Austrian infantry just panicked. In actual fact, they didn't even fire at the cuirassiers, I think they fired up in the air. And then you can see them trying to realign their front to face this charge. But they don't stand a chance. Complete disaster. Not only that, but the 
taken their artillery with them, the artillery have decided they're not hanging around with the infantry, is it? And the other regiment in the brigade making a run for it. Now the only interesting thing to mention about it is you'll notice that um, my cursors have broken as well. You'll find this happens quite a lot with this mod. It's a bit like a sort of Scots Grey's effect. If you allow a charge to continue for too long after it's routed its target, then the attackers themselves become so disorganised that they can't um, continue any further and they break off the attack dynamically and just withdraw. Um, it looks like they're routing, but in actual fact, nine times out of ten they rally a little bit later and they'll rally some, somewhere out of range. Not content with throwing away a perfectly good brigade of infantry, the AI is now ordering its Austrian heavy cavalry to attack. They're attacking on blown horses in complete disorder, and I'll be surprised if they even manage to uh, close with the people who are attacking. They seem to be aiming to attack my dragoons, but I've actually got infantry regiment number 26 almost at the ridge line now. So they're just about to witness, yeah, they've just seen infantry, infantry on their flanks and that's enough for them. They've broken, they're running. They're not even going to attempt to close. Their second regiment, which is following in support, now has to fight its way through its own comrades. But it manages to stay together. However, unlike the AI, I've kept my infantry in good order, so they don't panic. However, just to be on the safe side, I've decided to order four of my dragoons, Kent Waldenberg regiment, to see them off. There shouldn't be any problem if they're in complete chaos. So with the Austrian advance guard now in disarray, their chance to prevent the deployment of my left column has virtually evaporated. And the first of the infantry for my left column is on hand and deploying. feeling a lot more confident. That's all I've got time for in part three. I'll post part four as soon as it's ready.